tutorial, we're going to go over how to use SPSS to get the five number summary that the author talks about in the book. And I'm going to go over an example here, and then I'm going to go and do uh, another example uh, consistent with uh, assignment three uh, in another tutorial. So if we're going to use the example from the book, um, he used uh, previous work experience. Uh, and this, uh, these numbers here include the number of months of previous work experience before starting a job. And to get the five number summary, um, we, uh, we click on uh, Analyze, Descriptives, Frequencies. And you can see here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and reset it here, uh, that put previous work experience right here as the variable and then uh, uh, and move it over. And then uh, I click statistics, and I can click on a lot of things here. Uh, the author talks about hitting quartiles, minimum values, and maximum values. I also like to get measures of central tendency and the standard deviation and the variance. So if you want, you can also uh, get some plots like a histogram and to see if the distribution is skewed or not. And then uh, um, uh, I don't need the frequency table, so I'm going to remove that check mark here, and I'm going to hit OK. Um, and here you can see our five number summary, and so we can see the minimum and maximum values. The minimum value is zero, the so zero months of work experience. The maximum value is 476. We can see that the uh, 25th uh, percentile, so these were our quartiles, our 25th percentile was 19. Our 50th percentile is 55, and that's also our median. Um, and we can also see that our 75th percentile was 140. Um, note that if you want to find the interquartile range, you simply take 140 minus 19, and uh, you get 121, and that is your uh, uh, interquartile range. You can use that to uh, uh, evaluate outliers. So, um, how might you do that? Well, uh, you can do that by creating a box plot. Um, a real easy way to create a box plot is once to go again to go to analyze. And you, instead of going to instead of going to frequencies, we're going to go and click on the explore tab. And uh, we'll just take our variable here once again, and we're going to move it over. And we can click on statistics and we're going to get descriptive statistics and uh, we hit continue and we can also hit plots and uh, I'm going to remove the stem and leaf plot. I'm going to click on the histogram but I'm also going to click on normality plots with tests because that's going to give us that box plot. We hit continue and we hit OK. And notice we get very much of the same information. We get the minimum and maximum values. We also get some descriptive data like the mean and the median, uh, the variance, and the standard deviation. We have the interquartile range that we computed of 121. Once again, we can see that our distribution is positively skewed. And our box plot shows that as well. And the nice thing about our box plot is we can actually see the outliers here now. Uh, notice here um, that this would be uh, quartile 1 of 19. Uh, this would be our median here, quartile 2 of 55, and this would be quartile 3, our 75th percentile, at 140. And then, of course, um, we can use these values here for our upper and lower bound uh, uh, boundaries, uh, which is 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is 119. Uh, and you can uh, add that to the third quartile and subtract that value from the first quartile. And that gives you your upper and lower boundaries. Okay, so that uh, concludes our tutorial for how to find your five-number summary.